Now to business news this Sunday, Central Bank of the Bahamas executives say they're not concerned with the International Monetary Fund's most recent comments regarding its proposed digital currency platform, Project Sand Dollar. An IMF statement highlights constant power outages and unreliable internet sources could play a huge role in the success or possible lack thereof of the digital format. The central bank would have released its economic outlook report on Friday, citing the steady performance of the economy going into Project Sand Dollar's launch. Central Bank Governor John Roll says concerns surrounding Project Sand Dollar would have already been addressed during the planning stage. There's nothing that the IMF said that is not already uh, an awareness of um, central banks and others in the space in terms of how you manage the risk of, of digital, um, uh, the digital currency and, and e money. So, so we, we, we know even before those those types of comments were put on paper that you know those are issues that we have to tackle, and you will see those types of um, statements and clarifications uh, come out there. Well, Project Sand Dollar is expected to go into a trial in Exuma later this year, and Governor Roll explained some of its features. You're not going to earn any interest on sand dollars that you hold in a wallet. Um, if you want to earn interest, then you're going to have to transfer your money into a deposit account or some other stuff. Uh, you won't be able to put more than a certain amount of sand dollars in value terms in your wallet because, again, if you want to accumulate those large amounts, um, the banking system is where those money should be uh, put. The emphasis really is to make sure that you have a very efficient mechanism for people to make payments um, and, and to get funds uh, move about the system. But those funds should ultimately always settle um, in the banking system.